and you do a rage kick so what you do with Lee Sin is you want to kite around you kick them uh, you QQ then you go back out with W so you Q you alternate between Q and W and take your time don't don't spam the keys because you're gonna run out of energy he's an energy champion just take it slow Q go to them kick them do an auto attack get the back out get back out oh, we see one. they don't show the jump get back out if they get too close you kick them away or kick them in your team um, the other technique, the least in the, the um, what's his name? Oh my god, the, what's the guy in his name? The kick. Ah, oh, I forgot. I can't believe I forgot his name. There's a famous jungler that uses Lee Sin, and what he does is he plants a ward inside the enemy base, safeguards to it, flashes, and kicks one of them outside their base. <laughs> Very, I did it, I've done it once or twice. When I when I discovered the move, very fun thing to master. And use Dragon Rage to kick them inside their own base, very fun. If you play against Lee Sin, avoid that Q at all costs. If you don't see it coming, one run towards your turret, one run towards your your teammates. Uh, if he kicks you, if he's close, he's gonna kick you, so you have to stay far away. Or you have to stun him, knock him up. Oh, Lee Sin. If you want to counter Lee Sin, you go Frost. You go Ash. If he slowed down, he depends a lot on... Yes, he can, you know, snap in, snap out with his with QW, but... He has to step, he has to take a few steps in between. So if he uses safeguard to, 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 to jump to a ward and he's slowed down, he's gonna have trouble getting away, okay? So you use Ash uh, to catch him, slow him down. You use uh, Anivia, Braum, because uh, uh, Braum shield is gonna stop him. Braum Q is gonna slow him down. You can catch him and, uh, and chunk him down, burst him down and send him uh, send him home and uh, what's the other frost champion uh, any frost champion can uh, really counter this in really hard um, Sejuani and that's the only one I can think of there we go that's season have fun good luck Leona Leona the tank the living tank stun 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 okay that's Leona, stun, stun, uh, no, this is shield, stun, 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 okay, whatever, you stun, you see like Leona, you buy some health, you buy a very fun champ, very solid, you can buy her, it's gonna carry you to gold, platinum, maybe, probably platinum, uh, close to diamond, okay, very powerful champ. You can end with R. Your combo is Zenith Blade, jump to the enemy, stun him with Q, protect yourself with W, and you can buy some attack damage, you can buy some uh, armor, some health, and uh, you finish with Solar Flare. Uh, very powerful champion. If you play against Leona, uh, Zenith Blade is a line, so you dodge that side to side, walking zigzags. Uh, the circle, the the solar flare. Watch for it. You can you can walk out of it before it slams. We're gonna show you. There we go. So you can walk out of it if you're quick. You're gonna get you're gonna get slowed down, but not stunned, and it's not gonna do any damage. All right. Good luck. Have fun. We gotta speed up now. This is gonna be a three-hour video. What the fuck? All right, Lissandra. Lissandra, as I say. Lissandra, very powerful champion, ability power by Lissandra. She's an OP champ right now. And she's probably going to stay OP because she's been around long enough that she's not going to be nerfed too much. She's balanced enough, I guess. All right, so you have a shooting Q, a ring of frost that, uh, <coughs> that uh, goes a rear effect, freezes enemies. Oh, that's the other frost champion, Lissandra versus Lee Sin. No problem, no problem. She has a claw that she can. Um, she throws the claw and she can 
teleport with the claw or move I don't know if it's a teleport I don't know if it, would that go uh, uh, through the azir wall I don't know and you have a nice hourglass uh, a nice uh, shield uh, she can do the alt on her or on an enemy like Lee Sin and Gigi Uh, unkillable while she's in there so plush if you play Lee Sin with uh, death cap ability power and uh, hourglass very 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 powerful champion to play against Lissandra you have to avoid the ice shards absolutely step side to side yeah okay stay away from her give her some distance unless you can burst her down Remember that you're gonna have to go through the frozen tomb and the hourglass to kill her. Go around, try to kill her last or kill her first. Surprise her, stun her, kill her first. Good luck, have fun. Alright, next champion, Lucian. Lucian, ADC champion, AD carry, shooter, 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 marksman. Uh, he shoots, he shoots, he shoots. Uh, pff, boring champion. <laughs> The all just step aside, okay? Lucian, just be ready to step on to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. This thing here is a, is a cross. You can predict where the points are gonna hit, so you can just step here where the minion is. Just go diagonal. You just go here in between the two, uh, the two, uh, this is the two spikes. If he chases you, you better either you turn around and you kill him fast or you flash away and make sure you can get away because uh, he's a uh, he's powerful champion. He's powerful champion if you like power. Lucian is powerful. There you go. A build AD damage. A lot of AD crit. Uh, there we go. Have fun. Not much to say about Lucian. I don't like him. <laughs> Lulu, because I, I don't have him and I always lose against him. Not true. I lose very often against him because is uh, because he can't pick Lulu because I don't have graves. <laughs> Alright, Lulu, Lulu the crazy champ. Lulu, she has a nice slant, nice Q. So you max the Q. Very powerful. Whimsy is, uh, she has a speed up or she transforms the enemy into a critter. So that's what you use against. Uh, that's what you use against. Uh, she has a. It's a double spell. If you cast the spells on an enemy, it has an effect. If you cast the spells on yourself, it has another effect. So what you want to use on Callista is this thing there. Okay. There you go, Callista, uh, useless. The other spell is uh, a shield. You can shield yourself or do damage to the enemy. And the uh, alt is a boost of health and knock up. So there you go, you have a nice knock up. Another tool against Callista. Uh, you can have a Leona uh, charge on Callista and then Lulu. No, Lulu, Leona is not gonna work. Uh, you can have the jungler or the top laner charge on Callista, knock. Knock, uh, use, and then Lulu uses wild growth on the um, on the ally. Knock Callista up, transform the uh, Callista into a critter, and she's dead. So, if you play Lulu, you want to max Q, get some ability power, get some health, get a rod of ages, get some health mana power, and um, want a Q, you want a E. You keep wild growth as a defense mechanism and knock up. Very powerful champion. Very, very fun to play. Next, Lux. 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 Okay. So Lux, the feet. Just the binding. Very annoying. Dodge left and right. Huh, the binding. She has a shield. She has a circle of damage. Get out of there. 
and she has an ult that is a long spark just get the hell out of there step side to side side to side avoid the Q avoid the R and move out of the circle uh, loosen singularity and you're gonna be okay uh, if you can burst her down if you can grab her go ahead grab her kill her uh, if, you, if you're caught with just uh, if you are you <laughs> if you're caught with the lightning binding you're stuck there and that's it you're done uh, retreat <laughs> you missed your attack and so if she's support she's gonna do a hell of a job if she's mid man she can be ganked once she gets her ult she's, if she's smart she's gonna shoot from way behind and uh, clean up good luck buy some magic resist if she's too strong malphite next champion malphite malphite is a rock you build armor the Q slows them down make does damage then you want to jump in with the alt. Alt is a combo uh, ju jumping knock up. And then you do brutal strikes, ground slam. You want to max Q, you want to max uh, ground slam. And then uh, brutal strikes is just a damage boost, uh, auto attack boost, if I remember correctly. You can jungle with Malphite, you can top lane with Malphite, you can support with Malphite because his Q is uh, doesn't miss it doesn't miss so if you Q the enemy champion it's gonna hit and that's that and once in the mid game you can do the uh, the alt and uh, they're in trouble if you see Malphite coming toward you if you play against Malphite run away okay buy some magic resist but run away because one versus one is gonna burst you down He's gonna he's gonna get you okay because he buys only armor and uh, some health he's gonna buy Renduin and Sunfire Cape and there is no way to kill him have fun Mazar Mazahar is an ability champion although we have seen some uh, Mazar AD Mazar he can solo dragon at level 2 okay I've done it I did it yesterday Season 5, he can solo Dragon at level 2. Uh, there we go. <laughs> you use uh, Call of the Void and Null Zone, and you can max and you can uh, kill the Dragon. He has his ult, the ah, oh, there we go, the Mazar ult. It does a ton of damage, and it's a silence and a stun at the same time. But Leblanc, no, Leblanc can't have a silence. No, it would be too much. Huh? But Mazar ult will kill you every time, okay? Look at this shit. They don't show the they don't show the damage bars because it's way over the top, okay? He's gonna do he's gonna do a null zone. He's going to do Q, W, E, and R, and you're dead. Okay? Every time. One on one, you're dead. Two silences. Because Call of the Void silences, and Nether Grasp will, st will freeze you in there for three seconds. But LeBlanc can't have a silence. No, that's too much. Okay, good. <laughs> you can tell I'm not happy about LeBlanc. Okay. okay. Null zone, so he's gonna do null zone, and you're standing in the null zone, and he's gonna do his alt. So you're standing in that, does damage, and he's gonna do the alt, and you're dead. If you play against Malzar, avoid this, avoid the Q, this. Go forward, go backwards. If you're playing Hammerninger against Malzar, that's what I mean. Don't place the turrets in a line with the <coughs> with his Q place them in the other side in the other uh, direction so you want to avoid the queue step out of the null zone the null zone and malefic vision uh, if you have that on you just run away until it goes away good luck have fun build ability power that's for Mazar next champion Maokai Maokai Maokai, if everybody builds him tank, you have a closer in, you have a jump in, you have a sapling toss, uh, 
with you can max E, you can max the, the, the sapling toss, you can max twisted advance, uh, arcane smash is fun, uh, the all